Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free tool you could use to clean up your computer and get you some space back and just clean up some temporary junk. So it's called WiseCare 365. So we recently did a video on the Wise Disk Cleaner tool, which is similar to this. Uh, it has some of the same features, but this one has some additional features. So there is a free version and a pro version, so we're going to be using the free one today. And you'll see the sections there that require the pro version if you want to uh, check those out as well. All right, so we're going to open it up. Okay, so it's broken down into several categories here. And then you can see some of the pro details off here, like the protection option. Okay, so there's a PC checkup, and you could actually turn it on to run regularly. So what we're going to do first is go through all the options, then we'll actually run it. So if we click on checkup, then you can see in the pro section here, if you want to use the privacy traces feature, which will clear out your history of pictures viewed and movies viewed and what files you've looked at and so on. All right, so we have the security projects here. Shows you if everything's okay or not. Uh, useless files, 4.47 gigabytes, and it kind of gives you a breakdown here. And you could actually expand those. And the nice thing is you could ignore files if you want. So if you didn't want you know, these Windows font caches, you could uh, ignore that so they wouldn't get cleaned. All right, registry entries. Same thing too with the ignore option. System tune-up. So there's a lot of things here. So if you're going to use this, I would actually go through this section here and ignore the things you don't want to have applied because there might be a lot of things here that you don't want it to apply to your computer here. But this is a test computer, so I'm just going to leave everything as is when we run it. Then we have computer traces and browsing history like so. And of course, when you run it, you'll have to close your web browser. Otherwise, it'll bug you to do so. And if not, then you won't be able to clean up the items from your browser. All right, so it shows the summary up here. So we'll run that in a minute. All right, then we have the system cleaner. All right, so here's the registry cleaner. We'll do a scan on this. All right, so you can see it's broken down into the categories here. And you can check or uncheck items that you want cleaned or not to be cleaned. All right, common cleaner. All right, system files. It's a lot of stuff here. Web browser cache, Chrome and Edge, other applications. We've got OneDrive, Google Drive, Adobe Acrobat. Uh, we have some traces here. So web browser traces, Windows component traces, like so. Okay, then we have the advanced cleaner. So this will show you other files that I could find. You know, a lot of these temp files that you might not even know what they are. It shows you the path. And then, of course, you could go through and uncheck anything you want to keep. And then you could change which drive you want to scan. If you just want to scan one or all of your drives. All right, then system slimming. So this I already ran, so it's not going to show uh, the other options here. But these do not apply because I don't have these languages here. All right, then we have the Big Files Manager, which is part of the Pro version. All right, System Tune-Up. So there's some options here you could check as well. And of course, uh, don't do anything here unless you know what you're doing, because you might end up breaking something. But a lot of options here. Disk defrag, if you want to use that, you don't really need to do defragmenting with modern version of Windows, especially on SSD drives. Uh, registry defrag. 
And you can defragment it if you want. It tells you the current and new size and the redundancy rate. Startup manager, this one's kind of cool. So you could uncheck some items that you don't want to have to start with your computer. And so this tells you if you apply all the settings here, it'll shorten the boot time by about a quarter of a second there. No big deal. So here's the stuff that is starting right now. So here's the recommended. Here's the optional. So all these are running. You know, if you want to turn off OneDrive or the Adobe Acrobat Update service. Then you have some other services here as you could go through. Then you have your startup. So this shows you just the startup items. Now you notice this says Pro for the speed of even though it lets you select it here. So I have not run this part here because I wanted to save it to show you on the video. So I'm not sure what would happen if I clicked on Optimize if it would do it all or not. Then you have Services if you want to disable some services from starting with Windows. Like so. And then there's the Records section here. So nothing disabled. And then we have context menu, which is another pro feature. If you want to enable or disable some of your context menu items when you right click. All right, then we have privacy protector. So here's privacy eraser. This is a pro feature. Disk eraser. So this could remove deleted files from a disk. So obviously be careful when using this. File Shredder. So let's say we pick a file here. Let's go, let's see. Let's delete this one here. And click on Shred. It says Erasion, which I'm assuming means erased. Complete, shredded one files, and zero failures. You could even add a folder too. All right, then there's a password generator if you want to make up some random passwords. And then the site's notifications for the pro version. And then we have the system monitor. So this tells you what's going on on your computer. You can have it display system processes as well. So this is just a nice way to see what's going on, kind of like task manager in a way, I suppose. Okay, so let's go back to PC Checkup here. So we're going to go ahead and just fix everything here. All right, 9,300 items have been fixed. So now we'll go back to System Cleaner. Let's try this one, for example. All right, that was quick. Common cleaner, we'll clean, let's, let's scan again. Let's see if this changes since we did the main cleaner. All right, so now we could clean it. All right, 250 files. So the advanced cleaner, 118 right now. Let's scan again. So now it's down to 36 because we cleaned some from the PC checkup. We could click on clean. And then system slimming, we can't do because I've already done that. All right, system tune-up. I'm going to go ahead and just run everything that is set to run here. Like I said, this is something you want to go through and check out one by one before you do it here. So I'm going to click on optimize. And it was really quick. Okay, for the defragment for the registry, if you do this, it's going to want to reboot afterwards. I'm going to skip this one. So nothing we could do there. Can't, use, can't do anything there. We've already checked this out here. And so on. All right, so as you can see, it does quite a lot. You know, it's kind of like a C cleaner, if you remember C cleaner. So it seems to work pretty well. It seems to be pretty safe. Like I said, you just want to be careful when you're doing the system optimizer things so you don't change something that shouldn't be changed. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you could download WiseCare 365 and you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.